If you are looking to do more damage on Dream Realm bosses, then look no further than this video. And I know a lot of people have come to this channel for help on this. And that's why I wanted to make this update. Because the videos I made on these bosses were kind of outdated by the time people started finding them. So I wanted to make sure I made this update. I'm going to be linking this to that video so when people find it, they can then come over here and get more updated information. I'll try to keep updating these as well because I've noticed these are kind of my number one videos. So I want to make sure that I keep these up to date for you and give you as much information as I can on them. So let's get into it. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to cut to the chase. If you didn't see the other video and get my advice on that, this was the team that I was recommending. This team right here of Thorin and Sylvania and um, Laika, Cecia, and uh, Diano. Or, uh, yeah, Diano. And I know he's a Celestial, so he's kind of hard to get. So hopefully we can find a character that's better because now things are different. I have more characters. I'm at a higher level. Just everything's kind of changed. And um, I, might even, I might even log up into my other account. I have a second account. I'll go ahead and log into that and see how this applies to a lower level account too. Because if you're looking at this and I was like, I don't have these characters, don't worry. I'm going to show a lower level account as well and kind of apply what we learn to that account and show you how to just kind of get the most out of this no matter where you're at in the game. All right, I'm going to try to help as much as I can. So this is the team I'm going to use. This is going to be my baseline. This is going to be the number to beat. And the artifact that we're going to be using here is star shard if you have star shard that's the one that's really good for bosses and then uh this guy over here the confining spell that's the one that's really good for the arena so star shard is good for bosses and confining is good for the arena i forget what it was called in my last video but i think this is the same difference it's the same thing so let's go ahead and hit battle and see what kind of damage we can do to establish a baseline. This is going to be the number to be. Now, the, the problem with the boss is, is a lot of people are going to tell you, use this character, that character, or this character, right? However, ascension levels matter. So if you have more ascension levels on maybe not the most ideal character, then... It might, it, you might be better off using that character instead of another. So we got to know which characters we can swap out. And it's going to be a lot of trial and error. And that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to do some of that trial and error and try to figure out what the best way is. Now, we, fe we, we found out in the first video that having your character survive is kind of clutch. So I'm have, I had three characters die. I have 25 seconds left. I'm definitely not getting the most out of this team. I can do more damage than this, even though this team is stronger than it was last time I went in here. Uh, we're getting a pretty good damage score. Most of that was CC. CC really carried, and that's going to be 24.4 million. Now, I've already done more damage than that using other teams, just kind of what I normally use. But we're going to really try to max this out, so... That's what we got now. I think my current high score is 24.9. Now, it's not much higher. So, I can swap it around. I can try some different characters. Now, the big update. The big update to all these boss guides is now, and this wasn't there before when I first made these. Now, they kind of tell you what characters to use. So, we're going to go ahead and try those characters and see if we can do more damage using the suggested characters. They're suggesting that we use Thorin. And he combats the instant kill. They're suggesting that we use Odie, Rainier, and Walker for constant attacks. So let's go ahead. Let's go back in here. We got some more attacks. Let's try some of these other characters and see if we can top our previous damage. Now, they are not recommending Diano, but we might bring him back in. They're not recommending Laika. We might bring her back in. They're not recommending Sylvania. Now, uh, there's also another thing that I understand better now that I didn't understand then, and that's the more characters you use from one faction, the higher overall damage boost you're going to get. You're going to get overall health and damage. So, like, if I use five Graveborn, that's going to give me the highest advantage. But what you want to do in most cases is at least use three characters from any faction. And if you add any Celestials, they can count as any other 
uh, type of, of, of character class. So that's kind of a big bit of information that I was really missing in my first run and will probably help me theory craft something better. Now, I kind of feel like I need to keep Cecia in here. Like, that's my most ascended character. I have upgraded her weapon the most. I put the most stock into Cecia. Pretty much all of these... Anything I'm going to do on a dream boss, it's going to start off with Thorn. It's going to start off with Cecia. I'm, I'm going to have a real hard time removing them from any composition realistically. But let's just go ahead and try adding the three rec recommended characters to that and see what happens. Let's add Odie. Let's add uh, Rainier. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with Rainier. I guess I'll have Rainier throw Thorin up there. So if you don't know how Rainier works, a lot of people are, you know, are going to tell you Rainier is the best um, Hypogean in the game. And they're probably right. Um, and what you got to do is you got to get... Uh, a character behind him in the purple and then it's going to select your target in the red and they're going to kind of like swap locations and there's going to be extra damage involved but you want to make sure you have that effect on the battlefield uh, you got to play with them sometimes move them around I don't know that's how I do it look guys I'm an idiot alright I'm also going to go ahead and throw Walker in here because they told me Walker's good now Walker I don't have at high ascension levels so he's going to be prime for replacement some other great characters for boss. I, I can't believe we're not using uh, Kruger. I think all the guides out there are going to tell you, use Kruger because he has this special thing where he can, like, destroy a boss's shields and put, like, defense down on him and let you do a whole bunch more damage. And we might have to move him in here. Another great character for bosses is going to be uh, this guy over here. Corin is really good, and so is um, uh, Merrily. And I'm trying to upgrade them as much as possible for purposes such as this, for, for bosses. But uh, I don't know. Let's try what the game suggests, and then let's go from there. I will have the equivalent of three Graveborn here. So uh, with, the, with the Hypogean and two Graveborn, I've got a faction bonus going on. Let's go ahead and roll the dice on this and see what we got. The point uh, total to beat. We got to at least beat our baseline of 24.4, and then... The most damage I've done, I forget what I use to get the 24.9, but I normally mess around with this a little bit. Not like a lot of bit, but a little bit. I usually try to get, you know, a little extra damage. I just flop around one or two characters. If I just ascended someone, some days I don't have time and I just run the team that was last in there and call it a day and move on with my life. But um, let's see what we can do. I enjoy this video. This is a really fun video to make. Um, there, I'm going to do all the bosses again. I feel like it's worth it to do all the bosses again because we've learned so much since then. Now, what I like here is that my team's staying alive. However, Thorin is dead. Rainier is dead now. We have 34 seconds. I don't really like the survivability on this team. I think we could do better. I don't know. I don't know. You know, last time it was really just down to Cecia. Now it's just Cecia and Odie. Odie's really surviving. I like Odie. I feel like Cecia and Odie are a good combo. Like, duh. And it didn't do as much damage. So, you can't just go off of what they tell you. What did we learn from this? You can't just go off what they tell you. Now, if you had all of these characters that they recommend at the highest ascension levels, then maybe, right? Maybe. If you had all those characters fully powered up, that might just be the best team. That's probably what the top guy uses. It probably is not a very smart method. It probably just assumes that you have that. So, I don't know. Uh, where do we go from here? Let's see. Uh, who died? I, I, my walker probably isn't doing the most. He died quickly. Laika is, is going to always make your team better. But let's not, u let's not use Laika. Let's get Kruger in here. I kind of believe... In, in Kruger for that damage ability. I'm going to keep Thorin in there, hoping to give us some survivability. Let's just move that around. Let's move in that. Let's give this a roll. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what see what happens. Number to beat is 24.4 million. And I, I think the number we want is somewhere around 30 million or higher at my power level, right? What you're going to have to do is you're really going to have to take you know, what you have ascended to the highest levels and work with it. Work in some of the characters that they're recommending, but not take it as a strict, um, a strict thing to do. 
It's not just going to be like, well, I'll use those characters and ignore my highly ascended characters. That's not going to get you the highest damage, right? We know that. Thorin dies. I don't really know if Thorin's your guy. I mean, he was last time around. He's supposed to, like, live, though. I don't know. I don't know. Rainier dies. I... I Kruger lasted a hey, we, we've cracked the damage ceiling though. We're at 26.5 million. Let's go. Okay, so that was the highest damage at 26.6. We got a new damage record there with that team. So that's great. I'm actually really happy about that. Let's see if we can make it even better. That's our new high score. Alright, that crushed what I had before. Man, I really feel like. That's our guy right there, man. Adding in Kruger was probably huge. And they don't even tell you to do that. They don't even tell you to add Kruger, which is just, like, stupid, right? Like, why wouldn't they tell you to do that? So who's next? I, I don't know about Thorin. I don't know if he's really doing as much as he could. Him taking the damage might be preventing other characters from taking damage. We don't really have, like, a good... I don't know. Now I'm losing faction bonus. I feel like we want to... Man, is this dumb? Is this, like, stupid to put in Smokey and Murky? A lot of people swear by Smokey and Murky, right? I'm just going to drop in Smokey and Murky like some kind of idiot. I'm going to move these guys up a little bit so that hopefully they're in his, in his area of effect. I just want to give it a shot. I don't know. Maybe this is dumb. Maybe it's a, maybe it's amazing. Because that way I'm getting like the faction bonus. I'm getting a bigger faction bonus. I'm getting more damage. I'm getting more health. And I'm getting constant buffs. I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. A lot of people swear by Murky. Smokey and Murky. That's like a lot of people's jam. Let's see what it can do. The number to beat is 26.6, boys. 26.6 million. Let's go, King Croker. And what I want to see here is high survivability and high damage. Everybody's getting that attack bonus from Smokey and Murky. Everybody's staying alive. We got 60 seconds to go. It's looking pretty good. I'm not mad at this. Okay, Kruger dies. How long do his debuffs stay around for? Do they stay around even if he dies? I still see two red debuffs on the boss. So I think even though he, he died... He's still, like, making the team better. Smoky and Murky dying is not good. We have 30 seconds left. I've got my core team here. We, we, we cracked. We, we destroyed the damn... Guys, we're well over it right now. Smoky and Murky for the win. We are up over, like, 28 million damage right now. We are cooking towards 30 million. Holy. Whoa. Whoa. Theory craft these guys. Don't listen to the computer. Alright, <laughs> 31.4. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Smoky and murky for the win. Whoa, something went right there. Something will really went right there. Forget Thorin. <laughs> I don't know. Um I don't know what will make this better. Alright, let's try dropping Rainier. Let's maybe that's not necessary. You let's get let's get Kruger out in front. Let's drop Rainier. Although we might need to bring him back in, I just don't know if he's doing as much as like he he's he's the arena king. He's like definitely good in the arena, but is he doing as much damage as he could be here? We already have the three characters from one faction. We're getting that bonus. I have a hard time getting rid of Cecia because she's living the longest. Maybe just a Leica in here, man. Just Leica in here. She, like, makes any team better. I have her highly ascended. She's good to go. Let's give it a shot. Let's try Leica. Number to beat is 31.4 million. Can we beat 31.4 million? That's the question. We got Smoky, Murky, Leica... We got, like, this great little ranged unit going on, just kicking out tons of DPS. I, I just want... I don't want to see people die. Kruger dying is probably not possible to prevent. I just don't have him ascended high enough for him to live. So that might be a problem. I just can't keep him alive. But as long as everyone else is alive and those debuffs stick around, Smokey and Murky dies, the dominoes are starting to tumble... 
I don't know. Is this better than Rainier? I would love it if it was better than Rainier because I can't tell everyone to just have a highly, just have a highly ascended Hypogean, guys, and then you'll win. Like, that's really bad advice, right? <laughs> it's not helping you. Just have a really end-game Hypogean. All right, so, yeah, maybe the advice is have a really end-game Hypogean, but... All right, so... We've got a couple more fights on this account. Let me go ahead and just let's let's time out the fights on this account and then let's take what we've learned and we'll try it on the smaller account. So let's get rid of Laika. Um, let's bring back in Rainier, even though I kind of hate giving out this advice, but it is what it is, guys. He's really good. What am I going to do? You know, one of the best characters in the game. Um, who is up here? Smokey and Murky. I'm feeling Smokey and Murky. All right. I'm going to remove Seussia against all my better judgment. Against all my better judgment, the one that feels the most replaceable here is Seussia. Maybe she's just not... And maybe Laika goes back in. I'm kind of feeling Laika. All right, let's go for it. Let's try it. I don't know. That feels really stupid. But this way we can tell who it is, right? Is it Seussia or is it Laika? Who is doing the damage? Who's buffing the team? What's, uh, what, what's actually working here and what isn't? Let's give it a go. I know there's like um, a statistic screen you can pull up, but I think, I don't know if you can pull it up in this game mode. Maybe I'm just too dumb. I don't, I know there are statistic screens you can pull up and actually see who's doing what damage and whatnot. But it might be like, I, I know, I think it's available in the arena. But I don't know if you get it for Dream Realm. Let me know down in the comments if I'm an idiot. I'm always, I'm always up for learning, guys. Unless I'm not. But today, let's let's pretend I'm up for learning, right? All right, we're at 21 million. I think I lost a lot of power when I pulled out that that Cecia. I think Cecia was a huge amount of what was working with this. Absolutely, Cecia was clutch, guys. Nah, you can't. I can't get rid of her. She's way too powerful. Just on my roster, that's my most powerful character. So it's going to be really hard for me to get rid of her. Like almost impossible. All right, I've got one more attack. I've got one more shot at this. So let's go ahead and get back, get Cecia back in there. I can't get rid of her. And what else could I possibly do? Cecia was a big deal. I think this is, this is just it. I don't know what else I could do. The only thing I could do, all right, I'm gonna do something stupid. I'm gonna do something truly weird. And that is I'm going to take Sylvania, and I'm going to give her the attack buff behind Rainier. Okay? I'm just going to go for that, because she's more ascended, right? Let's prove that Kruger was actually part of this, right? That's all I can do. That's the only thing I can figure. I'm already happy I broke 30 million, guys. We've already won. 30 million was brilliant. So if we can... You know, prove that Kruger was a part of that. That'll be great. We can take that information over to my smaller account and know that he's going to be a difference maker, right? And so we're proving here is that these characters are difference makers. And then it's worth it for you to ascend them. That's why you're watching this video. You're like, which character should I ascend? Are these tier lists I'm seeing accurate, right? You want to check that stuff. That's why you're going to want to come to this channel. I'm going to check all the stuff with practical experiments right that's what i'm into what do we got here um sylvania died which sucks and she did not do that you know that break to defense that that uh, that kruger does um Cecia and Odie are still locking it down but we're just not doing the amount of damage now because we didn't break his defense you got to break his defense to really do the high damage. We're, we're really short of 31 million or whatever. Yeah. You need them. doesn't matter. If you have another damage dealer that's more ascended, it doesn't matter. Uh, Kruger's that good. All right. Let's go over to the small account. Let's use what we learned and see what we can do. So here we have a smaller account, but the same team. So a smaller version of the same team. CC is still the largest character. We're at a lower level. Still probably a higher level than what most people have on the global server. Keep in mind, if you're wondering why this, these accounts are so big, it's because they're from the beta server. Don't worry, I'm not on your server. 
not a kraken or a whale i'm just a content creator making content guys try to help you out so there it is i don't have all the artifacts either so i can't switch over to a better artifact i'm just going to be using enlightening spell here it's what i got Let's go ahead and roll this. I'm unranked. I have no idea how much damage I'm going to do. And then we can play around with and see if we can make a better team on the lower account as well. Just to kind of theory craft that out. But uh, there it is. I don't know why he didn't shoot um, Kruger right up there. But that's okay. Still doing a lot of damage. Same setup that gave me that mega damage the first time around, and I'm curious. We're not going to get anywhere near 31.4 million points of damage. That's not going to happen on this account, uh, but we should put up a very hefty amount of damage for our level, and we'll help you beat these bosses. So if you use good composition, you're going to be able to get up to the higher level bosses faster than if you're using just whatever characters you have, or throwing in just your strongest characters, your best five. It's not necessarily going to do it. You need to use some of these status effects, some of these um, combinations, some of these synergies are really going to help you get higher scores. All right, so we put up 9.7 million with this team, which is very, very good uh, for this level. Uh, the goal is going to be to beat the boss, though, right? Now we have a real easy goal to hit here. It's not just maximum damage. We want to get that treasure chest. So let's see if we can get it. Uh, same advice is being given to me on the smaller account, same characters. And let's see what we can do. So we know everybody's like so much weaker. And I think, I think we're going to be kind of, I think it's the same team, guys. I don't know what else I can do. Um, I could go crazy and just try something really different, right? All right, we've seen this. This team gets me 9.7. Okay, let's see if any of this, let's see if all this garbage actually makes, I'm telling you to do all this stuff, right? Let's see if it makes any sense. Let's just see if I can use my, my actual strongest characters. What I'm, I'm using Thorin, I'm using Viperion. This is my beginner team, by the way. This is what I'm kind of, this is what I've done to my own account. When I play, um, you know, when I start up a new account, this is kind of the team I'm going for. This is it. It's a lot of Graveborn and it's Laika. It's pretty easy to get. It's what I'm using. Uh, what I've got a couple of legendary characters in here and then a bunch of silver characters that are easy to ascend. Um, and that, that's pretty much the team. That's what I go with. So let's see if that does more than 9.7 million. I can't imagine it does, but these are my best characters. I want to show you the difference between using a good composition and just your highest stuff. And I think that might do it for the video because basically it's the same team. No matter what the ascension levels are at, that's like might be the best team on King Croker. I mean, unless you have a bunch of boss mode specific characters at high ascension levels, then that might be the, I don't know, you know what? I'm gonna have to eat my words because this thing's giving it a run. It's coming close, it's not bad. But you can get more damage if you use good composition, if you use the right characters, if you use good... I mean, it's like almost the same. <laughs> Honestly, it's almost the same. But it's, it is less. Alright, it's about a million less. Wow. So this got me 8.6 million. Using a better composition, but even though it's not as leveled, got me a better score. So, there it is. Uh, use the tips, it can help out. When in doubt, though, if you want to be lazy about this stuff, you can just use your five best characters. It's only when you really get to the end game, like on, on my bigger account, where like the team compositions really start to matter. So a lot of people, I think I've seen people in my comments like, this game's really simple. I'm like, yeah, you're a noob. Dude, the game's going to be simple for like uh, months. And then you're going to hit an area where you actually have to know what you're doing if you want to perform at a higher level and get better rewards. So I hope these videos help you out and start introducing you to the concept of getting better at AFK Journey. If you want more information on this, make sure you like and subscribe and check out the other videos in this playlist. And Grave Diggers, keep digging. He is the eye and I am him and I'm the undisputed trend in that haven and this dork behind the camera some Melvin told me to say grave diggers keep on digging whatever that means
I am AEW wrestler and Ring of Honor tag champ, Mike Bennett. And remember, grave diggers keep digging, but not the monster truck. Even though my son really likes that monster truck, I kind of like son of a digger. And so I'm, I'm going off on a tangent about monster truck because my son really loves monster truck. But we're talking about the YouTube channel. So make sure grave diggers keep on digging, baby. So this is Mark doing one half of private party saying what up to the grave diggers. And Alright, like, subscribe, and watch another video, or be cursed. Uh, if you're cursed, that means the grave diggers will keep digging your graves. So, you probably want to do it.